I am so, so excited to announce that I finally have a place to call my own once again. I have moved into my new house and I could not be more excited about where I'm living and this situation and everything. So I just finished basically moving everything in yesterday. I still have a lot of organizing and stuff to do, but everything is like here and I'm living here now. And today my plan was to do an at-home workout and do some grocery shopping. And I figured I should share that with you guys because a lot of you, like me, have lost access to gyms and a lot of healthy food due to the coronavirus. So I kind of wanted to just show you guys how I'm dealing with the quarantine situation and staying fit and healthy despite the lack of resources. And if you find that at all helpful, make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on for my next video because I'm gonna be giving you multiple at-home workouts that you can cycle through while you are stuck at home or don't have access to your gym, as well as different tips for how to just stay kind of in a healthier mindset while the world is but before I get into that stuff, you guys did request a moving vlog, so I want to briefly tell you about the place that I am now living and then show you a bit of the moving situation and give you a tour and everything like that. So you guys know I have been looking for a new place to live since Thanksgiving. It's been a while. I ended up moving out of my old place in mid-January and then moved in with my aunt and uncle who were nearby to the area that I was searching in and I am so fortunate to have been able to do that because it allowed me the flexibility to be picky with what I was looking for in a new place to call home. There were a lot of other places that I could have signed on to a lot earlier, but I really did just want to find the perfect place and I knew it was out there and I have found it. Not only have I found it, it's literally everything I wanted, plus all of the like pipe dreams that I had. And somehow we found this place and it was pretty underpriced, if I may say so myself. Please don't tell the owners so that they jack up the price, but like we got a good deal. So just some super quick details about this place. It is a four bedroom house on the west side of LA. And yes, that means I do have three other roommates. I'm not living by myself in a four bedroom house. All my roommates are super awesome. They all work in creative fields, which is also my dream to just be surrounded by a bunch of other creative people. The best part, the, the like pipe dream that I had that I didn't think I'd be able to get in conjunction with like my dream house. We have a cat. And by we, I mean one of my roommates has a cat, so that means he has like the responsibility of the cat. He will be paying the vet bills and paying for the cat food and you know, caring for the cat. But I get to hang out with the cat and not have the responsibility. This, this, it's my dream. I think that just about covers the important basics of this place and without further ado, here is the pre-moved in tour, the moving part, and then I'll meet you back here to do a post move in tour. Although I will have to give you another tour in like, I don't know, a month once everything is like in its place and properly organized. Welcome to my house. So this is the living room entryway kind of room. It's, I don't know, it's where we're probably gonna put like the TV and maybe a dining table over here. It's just a place where things are gonna happen. But my absolute favorite room of the house is the kitchen. Guys, guys, is he ready for this? You ready? Look at this. Don't mind my chia seed pudding over here, but I'm so excited to hang my cast iron pans from here. Dishwasher, oven, stove that comes with this awesome thingamajig. I've never used one of those, but we'll experiment. The microwave is admittedly a little bit because it's gonna be tough to take some out. I might need to get a little step stool to be able to use the microwave. That or I'm gonna end up spilling a lot of hot stuff on myself, which would not be fun. And then this is the big living room, the formal living room. I am not really sure, but I love the ceiling, love the fireplace, love the double doors that go outside. And then this is the most exciting part my bedroom. We're pretty sure that this is a converted garage just because of like where it's placed in the house and how it's kind of designed. Or a ceiling mirror, which is gonna be great for all of the selfies. Decent amount of light from the windows and so much space. I can literally do like a hit workout by sprinting back and forth in my room. Just kidding, there's gonna be furniture in here so I probably won't be able to do that, but you get the point. And then here we have the bathroom. Not super exciting, you know, got a sink 
Got a toilet. Oh, I turned the fan on. My bad. Got a shower. A little bathtub. A little storage stuff. It'll do what I need. If it weren't raining outside, I would also show you the outside because I am in love with the backyard. There's so much space and I'm just so grateful <laughs> that we get to live here. It's amazing. Um, but I will show you what I can through this window. We somehow have an outdoor shower. There is storage like there next to the house. Basketball hoop? Except if you miss, it'll just go over into the neighbor's yard, so like not really ideal. And then right there is a little fireplace, an outdoor fireplace. And next time I see you, I will be moving stuff in here to claim it as my own with three other people. So not, not technically my own, but like, you know. Mom, my dad's driving a U-Haul up of the coast to my new house. We're just here to pick up some food from the one and only Source Cafe. You guessed it, that's right. We're, we're getting Source Cafe to go to fuel our moving adventures. Oh, we missed. <laughs> so we got all my stuff in the house. And now it is time to do what I have been most excited about, organize the kitchen. Well, first we have to clean the kitchen, which I'm not super excited about, but then organizing the kitchen. <laughs> I know it kind of looks like a little bit of a disaster right now, but the kitchen is so organized and I'm so excited by how it's all coming together. Like, look at this wall of pots and pans. This took quite a bit longer than I expected. It's now almost 5.30. What time did we get here, Mom? Like 10.30? Yeah. Yeah, so it's been seven hours unpacking and organizing just the kitchen, and we still have my bedroom, which we're probably not gonna, probably just gonna start that tonight and then finish that tomorrow. And then throughout the rest of the month, I'm gonna like decorate it, furnish it, etc. So I'll show you guys like everything once everything is done, but I'm excited about this process so far. I'm just so excited to finally be moving back into a place that's going to be my own. I mean, it's not my own because I'm sharing it with three other people, but like, I will have my own space and be able to do my own thing. As you guys know, when I was at my old place, my skin was really, really bad. And then as soon as I moved out, it got better. So the theory that there was something in my old house that was flaring my skin is a very valid theory. The thing is, my mattress was in my old place. And so if there was anything in the air at my old place, it is in my mattress. So my mom is being courteous and helping me tape up my mattress in plastic so that I can get a new mattress. But in the meantime, I don't have a mattress. So, gonna be sleeping on a plastic mattress. I have a mattress topper. It'll be fine. It'll just be a little bit plasticky for a bit. But, better than having my skin flare. Go. This is the most exciting part. My adaptogen shelf. This just makes me like so happy. When I briefly showed this place on my Instagram story last night, a lot of you asked about the floor. It is indeed concrete. This is a converted garage, so not gonna lie, it is freezing. There's theoretically a little heating and cooling system up there, but it does not seem to be very efficient, so I'm trying to figure that out. So I had about 100 pounds of blankets on me last night. It's cold in here. But anyway, this is my bathroom. It is my dream to hang some eucalyptus up there. I'm gonna put plants all over here, by the way. That is basically my plan for the whole room, is just plants. 
plants everywhere. I will live in a jungle. So that's my new house. I promise we'll give you guys a full house tour once everything is like actually set up. I just kind of wanted to show you where it's at now, but now it is time for me to do a little bit of an at home workout. So I will show you guys the workout so that you can do it too if you are stuck at home or if your gym's closed. I see, I like, I go. accomplished and now it's time to attempt some grocery shopping. I don't have too much right now because I just moved so I tried to eat everything before I moved but now all the grocery stores are out of like literally everything so this is going to be an adventure. So with this grocery haul I'm trying to accomplish kind of two things. One, get stuff that's going to be mostly shelf stable not stuff that's going to perish in like two days and then two, make it not super expensive because as I'm sure most of you have experienced, all of this shutdown is impacting a lot of people's income. So nutritionally, I am trying to prioritize a few things. Number one is protein, because protein is like necessary, and I really wanna get some meat, because you can freeze it, eat it whenever. I also want to prioritize vegetables, which I know are perishable, but what I've seen, at least in my grocery stores, is there are some vegetables available in general, just not particularly the ones that you want at the right time. So you wanna get some greens in because you need to get your micronutrients. And then the third thing that I'm prioritizing is just calories because with the shortage of food, that gives you a shortage of calories. And the last thing that I want is to be stuck here, not going to the gym, not being able to lift heavy, and then also not eating enough calories which would cause a slowdown in metabolism. So nutritionally, prioritizing protein, vegetables, and calories. And then nutritionally, the things that I'm not going to prioritize are organic foods, grass-fed, all of the like expensive labels that get put on foods that generally do mean that they're a little bit healthier for you depending on the food. But if it's just two weeks of self-quarantining or even a month, eating non-organic foods is fine. I mean, in general, it's fine anyway, if that's all you have access to. But like something that I really want to stress with this whole situation is that it's important to not stress about it. For most people, the, the quarantine or suggested quarantine period is two weeks. Two weeks of eating horrendously bad food, like food that's really bad for you and not exercising is honestly not going to make the biggest difference in the grand scheme of things. The point I want to make is that this is temporary so don't stress about what you can't control because honestly, stress is what is going to make this whole situation potentially a lot worse. Stress is a major immune system killer. So if you can just go with the flow, do what you can and not stress about the rest of it, you'll be in a much better position to not get sick. This is all temporary. You're not gonna lose a ton of muscle in like two weeks, especially if you're doing at-home workouts and making sure you're eating enough calories. So with that being said, I'm gonna share my attempted shopping list. We'll see how much of this I can actually accomplish today. So for breakfast, I wanna have eggs, chia seeds, oats, and some kind of milk. Last time I went to get almond milk, there was literally none. So we'll see what I come back with. And then for like lunch, dinner, snack kind of stuff, Again, I want to get some meat. Ground meat tends to be a little bit cheaper. I'm going to try to find some steak personally. Something that's super convenient is just like a whole rotisserie chicken. That tends to be a little bit cheaper as well. You can just use it to have chicken with vegetables and 
rice or whatever or you can make soup out of it which is amazing i want to get some squashes because those last forever really i'm gonna find some frozen vegetables at least some spinach or kale or something most of the frozen sections are sold out though so we'll see what i can find i actually do have a ton of pastas because when i did go to the store the other day that was like the only thing that they had so i grabbed a ton of gluten-free pastas I also currently have a huge bag of rice, which is not the rice I would usually eat because the white rice that I usually try to go for is the one that's going to be a lot lower in arsenic. This is just conventional white rice, but for the time being, I think it'll be fine. I'm going to try to find some quinoa, some dried beans. Everyone's going after the canned beans, but you can just get the dried beans and like cook them and make your own beans and they last forever because they're dried beans. So I'm gonna look for dried beans, also lentils potentially. If I can find any more soup, I might grab some, but I also recently did a Thrive Market order and got a bunch of kettle and fire soups, so I might be good to go on that. So if I don't find soup, I won't be too mad about it. Then if I can find nuts and seeds, that is a great way to boost calories, get healthy fats, get a little bit of protein, and those last for quite a long time as well. So without further ado, Let's see how much of that I can accomplish today. We are off to go out into the wilderness to fight for scraps of food at the grocery store. Wish us luck. <laughs> what is this bread and why does no one want it? No one wants the Irish soda bread. That's hilarious. Oh, gluten-free tortillas. No one wants them. Pro tip, Sprouts has everything in bulk. Get the bulk foods. Okay, I consider this a win. I found quinoa in multiple different colors. Also chia seeds. This is the kind of stuff that isn't selling out that you can just rehydrate by cooking. Oh my God, apparently I lied. This is all the dried beans. That's all we have left for black beans. Thankfully, apparently no one wants brown rice. So we got some of that. And these are the lentils. This is all I wanted lentils. This is, mm, Okay, maybe I'll get some split peas. Nah. All gone. Great, all the eggs are gone. This was like, gonna be my staple. Nothing, not a single egg. We do have some frozen kale though. We're gonna get two bags of that. What do we got in here? Nice. Oh my god, all of the produce is gone too. What is this? Well, there's lettuce. That's good. And no more onions for anyone either. I am so surprised there's still celery, considering all of the hype around celery magically curing literally everything. Maybe people are realizing it's not magic. Maybe people are just prioritizing everything else. So here is everything I ended up getting at the grocery store, not including these oils or this bowl of fruit that was already on the counter. But let's just let's just breeze through it. Got some ground turkey, some steak, ground beef that I'm gonna hopefully cook up into some like taco bowls, some bacon. I just saw this because there wasn't much frozen food left, so I, just, I grabbed it, whatever. I did manage to get my hands on some rice, brown rice, some frozen black beans, no dehydrated, but yes, frozen. Some quinoa, plenty of chia seeds, acorns, squash. Squash lasts forever, not in the fridge, so this is great. Some zucchini, I'm probably gonna chop these up and freeze some of it. Lemons, just cause lemons. Got some very green avocados, cause this won't get ripe for a little bit. Some kale that I can also chop up and mix in with the ground meat when I cook it. The only pack of frozen vegetables left. Apples, two pears, some guacamole, cause I don't know, guacamole's good. Brussels sprouts also last quite a while in the fridge, not like forever, but they're good to have on hand. I got some tortillas, Siete brand tortillas, literally just the most random tortillas ever under there because they're the first ones I saw, so I grabbed those and just didn't put them back. Then I got some gluten-free bread. Again, this is, I don't have gluten-free bread very often. This is mostly just in case like I actually can't find food and just need calories. And then I got some cashews and almonds. There were a lot more almonds in here, but I ate most of them on the way back. And an onion. 
And that's that. I hope you guys liked this video. Since filming this, I've actually moved some more furniture into my room and I'm so excited to show you guys. So I promise I'll give you a full room tour as soon as it's like complete. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really does support me and my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Please share this video with your friends, your family, your neighbors, anyone that could use an at-home workout. If you want to see more at-home workouts from me, you can check them out over here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see future videos from me. Hit the little notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And I will see you very soon. Bye.